Hi there, how's everybody doing tonight? Um, this is going to be a pretty short stream tonight because I'm pretty tired and I got to get up super early tomorrow. So I sometimes forget that not all of my friends and people I know really know anything about 3D printing or not a lot anyways. I live in my own little world sometimes. So somebody asked, the other day, like, where do we get models from to print? And you have to make them all yourself. And although I do make some myself, both mechanical and more organic shapes, and we'll probably do some more with that, show some of that software soon. But the easiest place when somebody just gets started is to use one of the online repositories where people donate objects or upload them at least. Some of them are free, most of them are free. Some of them have a small cost. And sometimes I use some of them as a starting place for an idea to work into a design of my own because there's something that doesn't quite work the way I want it to, or doesn't fit my need exactly, so I'll modify it or I'll just recreate it using the basic shape that they started with. And then other times, if it's a model that's pretty cool, and it's only a few dollars, to me personally, I would much rather support people that create objects and models for us and save myself 20 hours or more of time. And if I just want to print it, that might be the best, quickest way. Hey there, Red Light. How are you doing tonight? Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, you're going to know this stuff pretty well. I'm just gonna we're just gonna talk about different places to get models online tonight and I'm gonna start with the the most common and popular one feel free to chime in if you uh, have any comments here sir Basically, Thingiverse is probably the biggest and one of the oldest collections of objects. I can't even begin to guess. I didn't tell you how many models there are. But just scrolling down their main page here, you know, you can get a full-size anatomically correct spine of something, presumably a human to a helmet, COVID protection helmet. That's interesting. <laughs> um, sanding wedges for wrapping sandpaper on. Um, little surface eggs, those are interesting. Those look cool. Too late for Easter right now, but hey. Okay. Uh, supposed working V8 engine. And this stuff just goes on and on and on and on like there's i don't know hundreds of thousands of objects on here from cool little statues you can print to useful things storage box for ikea stuff just you know a tip new tip for your dyson vacuum if you break one or lose it or the dog chews it up you can print a new one Household practical things. Untitled Goose from Untitled Goose Game with a magnet in its nose so it can hold the, the players. I've seen people do that with keys a lot. But there's all kinds of things. So anything you can think of, you can find it. So if you want to do, I don't know, let's do... 
They're a Back to the Future fan. And it came up with none. Really? I thought the car would come up for sure. I can't spell DeLorean. Well, there's the, the time machine, the DeLorean clock from it. It's kind of shocking. Sure, the thing I pick it isn't there. Awesome. Thanks for making me look intelligent. One thing that... There's... Now we're getting closer. There's a mini DeLorean. DeLorean toy car. I'm kind of shocked there isn't more. Copyright. Let's, let's do one of those right there. So you're a Star Wars fan. Every once in a while, Disney will go through and do a copyright strike and take make people take all these down. But today, there seems to be a fair collection. And I'm trying to find some I printed. I did print some snowflakes one year for work. Decorate my office. I should print the stand for the Google Home Mini. There's one for the, the A unit as well, which I won't say because it's sitting right there. But right, is that where you're getting your red lights getting files for the Gumars off here right now? Yeah, that's the other thing. Like if you Elago Mars is one of the resin printers. It's very popular. If you just go search for it, you will find things to use with it. You can find things to modify it, like these little hangers to hang the plate so that extra resin drips off of it. You can find... Wow, their search is really... I know it's never great. I printed these. I haven't installed one yet. This is just a simple little part, but when it's free, it's a lot easier to just go in here and grab it. You know, it's going to probably know it's going to fit. This is a, uh, oh, this is one of the cool things here is that they let you look around the part. Some of the models you'll find, especially on this website, just don't print right. They haven't really been tested. Somebody just found it, ripped it out of a game. You can grab characters out of a game sometimes. Or they half-assed made something that sort of looked, they thought it looked right. And I've made some of those too. But they, um, this is so you can, the USB key where you plug in to put the models onto the printer is at the back. On the, on the original Mars anyways, on what the newer ones, but the original one like mine, are, both of them are at the back. And the problem with that is you're always reaching up over top to get at it, which, you know, you could end up dropping things or knocking things over. So it's convenient. This just lets you use those two little holes at the top to uh, screw it into the side of the existing housing and you can get an extension cable and move it around to the front and inside the Mars, it's actually just a little short extension cable that goes to the back housing. So you could also just unplug it and get a new one that would run right to the clip on the motherboard, which is what I thought about last time I was inside mine for the third time. But in here you can see where they've mounted it on the side. They did a, either a two color print or they painted it to say USB. I know it was the USB port, but, uh, so it's kind of handy, just a handy little thing. And it would take you, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe to, to make that up yourself. But it's, uh, it's just as easy to go there, click download. Good. Don't be a bad ad because they take some questionable ads and they've changed their downloading model a bit. So yet, if you notice up here, there was a little counter. You have to wait until that goes and it downloads your file down here. It's ready to go. And we'll talk about what you do the next step another night. 
tonight. I just want to go through a few of these. This is one of the interesting places with a free mod like this. Its license is Creative Commons. In this case, I honestly don't know what the little person means. But often there's another one here that's a dollar sign with a line through it, which means you can't make profit from it. So you can't take the model, make 50 of them and put them up on Etsy or, or eBay and sell them or put them on Facebook Marketplace. You can't do that. You're not allowed to make a profit. It's hard to police that and it's hard to chase people. And some people think because they got it free, they can do whatever they want with it. But the right thing to do is to follow whatever license they put on it. And those licenses also affect whether you're allowed to modify it or not. Another site that's been around for quite a while and is pretty popular is my mini factory and i always thought that my mini factory just referred to the fact that it had small things like there'd be a model of a car and it would be small instead of full car size but in the last year or two they've moved to mini figures like for D, &D games and things like that it seems like a lot of their content is and they they've tried to make some money they have deals where you can sign up for a membership but you see here they were one of the first sites i remember that actually had a lot of models for for sale thingiverse the first place is all free i don't think there's any pay models on thingiverse um but you know if you wanted to if you really wanted this lust god model for instance Why are we doing that? I don't want to do that. Okay. Commercial. You know, that's a pretty cool model. Like, there's a lot of detail in that. You know, right down to uh, different heads and everything. You know, there's a lot of detail in that. That would take days and days and days. And some of us, it would take probably several months. Hey there, MJ. How you doing tonight? Thanks for stopping in. You know, that would take a long time to, to work through it, to create that from scratch. But for 15 bucks, you can download it, print it yourself. To me, that's worth it. If I wanted that model, not quite my style, but if I did want it, 15 bucks is nothing compared to the amount of time and the thousands of dollars of software you need. This, you know, the ZBrush is pricey, but it would definitely be worth it to me to pay for it. Back one. But it's the same sort of thing if we search our friend D2 here. Didn't get enough characters in. So here's a couple that are for sale, $6 for an R2 chess pawn. If you do the math, it's going to cost you, you know, 50, 60 bucks, at least from 60 to 70 bucks for all the pieces, probably, unless some of them cost more of a pricey chess set. Here's a couple different droids that are kind of based on the idea, avoiding copyright for three bucks. And then these ones down here are free. It's nice that they organized the the pay ones generally up front they sprinkle them in once in a while i found but generally they put them up front but you know here's one where somebody's taking some creative liberties with it but, yeah there's one for the for the echo dot I can say that it doesn't know that word so but there's just all kinds of stuff on these you know if you want to say i want to look at scan the world there's people have gone out with with scanning equipment and scanned famous statues and famous buildings and famous everything 
and brought them in here in somebody's brain and brought them in and put them up here. And this is a free project. So as, far as I know, there's an American crow skull. Let's check that out. And they also let you take a look around the model and see what you think. That would be kind of a challenge to print lots of fine detail, but, but when it was done, it would look awesome. If you painted it up kind of neat, either psychedelic with some chrome color paints would look neat. Put a couple of LEDs under it or paint it like bone, like you just pulled it out of the ground. But, could, uh, but you know, there's a fair amount of detail. You can start to see the, the little triangles, facets that make it up. But, but based on a scan somebody did somewhere. Was at the Smithsonian one time and a lot of their stuff was in here for a while. I remember seeing some of theirs in here, some of the caveman skulls and that. There's one I've printed. Printed this one before. The living room small one. I believe that one's in front of a the original's in front of a museum or something. It's the same one. Another good source of models is Cults 3D. To me, they're kind of in the same class as the My Mini Factory. They offer a mixture of pay models and free models. Pretty well curated. I don't think I've ever got one that doesn't print from here. But, you know, if you go to jewelry, for instance, you know, you got rings with people's names on them, pendants. You can make those into earrings real easy. Um, bracelet, custom ones you can make for people. But you see, when I pull over one of these, let's pull that one. Just for, it's 74 cents. For 74 cents, if I wanted to do a, a nice bracelet for somebody as a gift, I could probably buy all the letters and numbers I needed for 10 bucks or so, or I could spend an afternoon making them all. Depending on how busy you are and how you value your time, it might be better to do that. See, it's slow there tonight, there we go. But, you know, and then you can print them up, put them together into a bracelet or whatever, for a necklace for somebody. So, you know, for under four bucks, Lily gets a custom bracelet. And all you get to do is download it, push the button, give them three something, and away you go. They also have a, can't, can't forget to say that they also have a naughty section, which is adult oriented objects to print. Quite popular in some circles. Sometimes you like, here's an example, like it's a managerial chair, but I can't see any reason I would want to print that. I guess it's doll furniture maybe, but some stuff in here, I'm just not sure why it's here and whether it would actually print properly. That's interesting. Drag radial tires. Hmm. I don't know if I pay seven bucks for that. There's all kinds of stuff, a lot of um, scale model like uh, model trains and, and car models and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff for that in here. Extra pieces, replacement pieces. I did some stuff a while ago for a guy that's building a model boat. It's about, I don't know, three, four feet long. And he needed some little custom parts. So he sketched them up and I created them in 3D, printed them on the resin printer and sent them up to him. He's just up north of Toronto. Here's a neat kind of project. You can print the parts to, uh, oh, I'm not going to spin, to make a neon lit sign. 
and then they'll have the in here somewhere will be the instructions on what you need to do the electronics to make it light up so it's kind of neat yeah i'm surprised i don't have anything like that yet a newer player in the game is thangs thangs is supporting the community really good recently they've been sponsoring people's streams on the big channels and some of the medium channels they'll sponsor draws and sponsor the show for the night so they're they're spreading some of their money around to get get their advertising up get people using their site as far as i know everything's on here is still free um there's one that i'm familiar with at least this is made by this is stitch from from disney lilo and stitch and uh this was made by chaos cortex which is garrett and chelsea people that i know and they do great modeling work and they do models like this that they release for free and they also do paid commissions and they've got some of their models they have a patreon page and if you're a member there you get access to all their models but you know i would not looking forward to painting all those teeth but i'm pretty sure that they have a video on their youtube page that shows chelsea painting it um oh, mini puff man that's a <clears throat> that's a new one um i just saw the commercial for the ghostbusters movie that's coming out soon and there's little mini stay puff men in the in the trailer so that one came out fast good job gang good job team chaos cortex something different huh, i've printed that a few times but this uh octopus smart phone holder that's the one i used to print we'll talk about phone holders in a minute but i've printed that one a few times at different scales and one similar to that as well another octopus design i printed that was one of my earlier prints like four or five years ago um and the dinosaur skull the t-rex skull that i've printed several times tesla medallion I find them. And then there's some simpler models. Somebody's learning Good for them. They're sharing their stuff. So I'd scroll down to something kind of detailed, but maybe we'll scroll back up. Yeah, they recently ran a contest with. Uh, 3D printing nerd Joel ran a contest for people to design speaker covers for some big speakers that he built that were 3D printed. And uh, that's why you see a few of these here, the speaker cover. I don't know if he's announced the winners of that yet or not. I don't think so. I think it just ended the other day. He was having a couple of celebrity judges judge the contest with him. I was going this here. Here's an example of a model that just looking how detailed it is, I would be concerned that it wouldn't print perfectly first try. Either it would need a ton of support material to support mirrors and you know thin railings and things, or you'd have to digitally cut it up into pieces to make it easier to print. I don't know. Not sure how that one would work, but. And then the last place we're going to talk about tonight is prusaprinters.org. 
Prusa makes my favorite printers and they're based in the Czech Republic in Prague. And they're starting to be the, the more organized, better quality, easier to find things version of Thingiverse. So still based on the free model. I don't believe they have any pay models. I haven't seen any, but anything can change any day th these days. Um, their face shields, they were very, very instrumental in designing face shields back at the beginning of the pandemic. And most of us in the 3D printing community printed them to give to, to local people to help protect them until the, the manufactured ones ramped up. And I believe he's still printing them over there. He still got people that, that need them. But same sort of thing, all kinds of stuff. And design contests, organizational tools, fashion and fashion accessories, gardening tools. Okay, let's see what gardening tools has. This is their 10th competition. Cool looking watering can. A rack for plants. Oh, he used the, that's one of their spools, part, half of one of their spools. So that's pretty cool. I should print a watering can. I need one here, but I'm not sure. My experience is that making vessels that are supposed to hold water is a little bit of a challenge, but I'll maybe check into that. I saw a couple of designs a month or so ago when I looked and you had to glue all the pieces together. I was like, well, I'm not sure that's going to be good, but maybe it'll work. I'm not that organized to do that, but it might be another way to do it. But all different plant things, plant stands. Oh, tagging system for plants. I was like, it's a guy. Okay. Plant holders, supports for your vines to cr crawl on. Kind of surprised there's no pot related stuff in here really yet. Compost sifter, I go with the solids. Little plant sticks you could do in two color. When you do two color like this, you would print them laying down like that. And you'd print the black layer first, or whatever color you want. And then you pause at a certain spot. And you'd switch in this case to a light green. And then you'd finish, finish the letters in green. They did doubles, double changes. So that's kind of how those go. And I think the question the other night when it came up, but where things, where objects come from, no, the stork is not involved. See, I saved that till near the end of the show. So, you know, it'd be a cliffhanger. Keep you interested um but in this particular instance if you do phone holder see it starts to bring up things that match phone holder and then it goes to just phone so in this case i know this is the one i want because this is where i came to get it the other day and that's the one that i showed the other day that it's made with the multicolor rainbow filament and it's a shiny chrome pearl type finish just the way it is and uh, this is where that model comes from and it comes up on a now, if you notice on this one just pick one of the bigger ones this You can see the the holes they go right through and all that is is that's the infield that stops the print from from crushing and falling apart so in this case you use this model oriented on the bed when you print it that way and you tell it not to print the top and bottom layers and it just doesn't print them and everything works fine it just says okay we'll start there instead and away it goes there's a few spots in here that doesn't look perfect, but 
but overall it looks really good and they work they're strong enough i put an ipad pro the big one on it and it's fine it doesn't fall over anything i'm not hitting it but you know it works fine but those are uh this is where it came from it was free and there's probably you know worst case a dollar's worth of plastic in it material plus print time and all that but that's the way they go if anybody has any questions fire away because we're almost done for tonight i'm sorry i'm just tired and got to get up super early so i can't stay up too late it's coming up on 11 o'clock here and i still got to post this and everything so if you uh if you ever want to pick out objects and you want one of your 3D printing friends to print them for you. Just go on to one of these websites, copy and paste the link into a messaging system of your choice and say, hey, would you print me one of these, please? And uh, hopefully they'll help you out. And in a future episode here, we'll talk a little bit more about the next steps, how we get it from here to the printer and have it printed and have it turn into a real physical object so thanks for watching and hope to see you again next time i'll be streaming every day this month and just remember be safe and never let the machines win thanks a lot